Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about Shao Cordovan. Um, as many of you know that Shao Cordovan tends to, uh, yeah, well, there's like creases in the front area of the shoe, so um, many of you heard and know that it's actually possible to get those out with a deer bone, and I want to talk to you and show you how it is easily done. And you can easily remove uh, those creases within a few minutes only. So, um, well, that's what I wanted to show you now. Let's have a look what kind of shoes are good to go. Um, these are my um, Ravello Plain Toe Blukers, uh, which are actually like, like 10 years old. But the creases are quite okay, so... Let's have a look. Um, it's also Ravello uh, long wing blue cur, uh, but maybe we'll try my black shell and uh, plain toe blue curs. Um, those shoes are actually like, uh, I guess, 12 years old and I'm heavily wearing them. I think three or four times a week and as you see have heavy creases somehow but I'm not sure which one is uh, worse. I think the right shoe has actually more creases but the left shoe has thicker ones so I'm trying to can you see that so um, yeah let's take this shoe I think this is good, good to go. So I'm trying to um, get those out. I want to show you how, what, which, which six steps are, are uh, to go, and how they actually look afterwards. So this is the right shoe, which are actually more creases, but they're tinier somehow. And this is what you need. It's actually not that much. Um, Basically, you need what I use is Sapir uh, Reno, Reno Batur. Um, it's for moisturizing, and there's some Cordovan cream from Bourgogne, I guess. Yes. And it also freshens up the black color. And for a finish, there's um, the Alden the paste wax. Um, you can add if you want, but you, you don't have to. But it gives some special. Uh, extra shine. So then we need some cotton cloths to apply the waxes and there's the special deer bone. It's full of natural oils and, and grease. Um, but I don't want to go too deep in the uh, story because I think the most of you guys know pretty much uh, all of all of what's good to know about a shoe bone. So what you do is rub it against the creases and in most cases the creases will just be gone after the process. So you can actually rub it on your shoe and and that way you can get to create those creases out. Again you need uh, two brushes, one for the dust and one for um, yeah, getting a nice shine. Just this one. There are a horse hair. And there's another cloth for polishing. So and that's basically it. And again, <laughs> beer. <laughs> there's in fact that it takes quite long. Have German beer. Adding a waste beer. Waste beer. Alright, so let's give it a go. Okay, so first off, um, yeah, we should take the um, shoelaces off. I added some speed. And first step is we use the first brush brush uh, to remove the the uh, dust on the shoe. This is a very important step. So don't be too lazy on that. And if you're done with that, we take the Sapir Reno. This is actually good for, for moisturizing your shell cordovan. It won't break. 
and it also gives some some deep shine to the shoe this is so pretty much the first or most important thing to do when getting a nice shine to to those shoes so what i do is is getting a really really thin um uh, layer of, of renovateur and all over the shoe and then we should uh, just br brush it out brush it uh, vigorously to a uh, dull shine and actually this is good to go this is pretty much what you can do like every week or so it won't harm your shoes so just brush it out till there's a little bit of shine and in most cases you, you're cool with it you should just do whatever you want and you're finished but not now, as we want to take the creases out of the cold oven, we're taking, um, we're not finished now. We will take, as what I do, we take the deer bone. Um, and you can, what you can do is actually rub the deer bone on the sharp cold oven uh, really nice and smooth so you can get those creases out. But there's another way that is actually easier, faster, and as many people say, better for the leather. So you would should you should um, add some a thicker layer of of Sapphire over tour on the crease creasing area, and then again add some Reno on the deer bone. And afterwards, this is the pretty much the the most important thing more important thing to to take your time you rub it in you massage the the reno into the cordovan with the deer bone you really this is the most important thing and this is actually the point where you should you should take your time the longer you go the better will the results get so as for the video, I don't want you to, to um, I don't want, didn't want to force you looking at a video for one hour. So I, I didn't take too long, and the results actually aren't that great. But I just want to prove my point. So just massage it in, uh, far upside down, up and down, and um, some circles. And then whatever you want, how long you want, the longer the better. And then when you're finished, remove the, the rest of the sapir and wait for another 10 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever you want. So then you can see there's actually, the creases are actually removed significantly. And then we can do the second part again, wipe it off, uh, polish a little bit to a dull shine so the reno feels nice and you can actually, it doesn't, it's no longer sticky. Don't be too lazy on that. And then we take uh, a cotton cloth to get a little better shine, wipe it all off. There we go, it actually looks nice. You can go on with the shoe bone again. But for the video, I, I'm, I will finish now. Second part is to um, add some Cordovan cream, which is from Burgol. This is, in my opinion, the best product because um, I think it's best for nourishing shell Cordovan and giving also a nice, sh nice shine. Um, well, especially for black shoes, I think this is really important because black shell cordovan tends to lose its black color so this gives some of that color back so that actually looks really nice deep black again just do it like we used to do with the uh, reno just put a little really thin layer on the shoe all over it don't be lazy on that and and again, we have to wait for like 10 or 20 minutes, let it dry out, and then we're gone. And I am back. So after 10 minutes, it's dry now, yes. And again, take the horsehair brush, 
brush it out, brush it vigorously. And actually there's a really nice shine already. Really nice. Put it all over it and then we're good to go. Actually, we could stop now, but for the video I'm now doing going on. As you can see, it looks like new. And you know the creases are like 70% gone. We can go on for like another 20 minutes and the shoe looks like like new from new out of the box. So then wipe it off again. Uh, so here you can see the creasing area looks better than before and yeah for the next part is optional if you want you can you can leave it or you can do it which gives the shoe a little more shine i i do it really not that often like every year or so because shell coated and really doesn't need too much wax on it so just use a really, 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 really thin layer of wax, which I, I have the, the original Alden paste wax, but you can also add, use some kiwi or, or something else, whatever you want. It's just regular wax, it's nothing special really. So um, put it all over the shoe. Make sure you, you put something in the creases so it's not, you don't leave it out. Wait for another 10 to 20 minutes and uh, we do whatever we, what we used to do. Take the horse hair, brush and brush it up. Now they come to really, really, it ends up really shiny in some way. And yeah, don't be, for Cordovan it's really important. Brushing is what I wish you do all over the place. It's, um, you don't need no products or something. Just wipe it off, brush it off, and Cordovan looks really shiny and nice. Especially with wax, even more, but you can do it if you want or you can leave it. Uh, in the end, I like to take my um, cotton cloth because there comes out a little better shine than only with the, the brush. So wipe it off, brush it, polish it. And here we go. So for the shoe trees, I like to put a sock over it. So I won't have to take care of um, not touching my shoe tree due to the fact that those things are actually quite expensive. <laughs> and I don't want to get uh, black shoe wax or shoe cream on my <laughs> uh, my shoe trees. Take it again, and here we go. Just for you to know, it's a 15 year old shoe, so it's worn like three or four times every week. Looks like new, right? <laughs> so, for the um, the thing is, you can actually take a little more time with the shoe bone and the results will even get better. So it's, it's not the end of the road, what we have here. It's a really nice shine. Even without the wax, I just, just added it to get a better result for you for the video. But you don't need to and that's what I like about Cordovan shoes. You can buy a pair and you're, you're done for life. Here's the part I actually missed. Should get that a little bit, but just take your time. Massage it in a little longer, and it's it's gone. You can actually, just rub the deer bone like this all over it. Um, give it for a video. I think it's good. So now let's have a look at the other shoe for comparison reasons. Now I think you can see that what I meant in, in terms of, of, of the creases, they are gone mostly and 
especially the color is, is, is like really really uh, deep deep black especially in comparison to that other shoe even though the other one looks also good and anyways so here we go this is called the Andy method <laughs> alright nice shoes if you have any questions or something just don't hesitate to ask good luck with your shoes enjoy your albums or shell code over Next time I'm gonna do a little comparison for my uh, Plainto Bluegers. Um, these are Alvins, but I do have the Alvin Admin Slates, and I wanna do a quick comparison for you to know what's what's good about the other one. Or we'll see, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, good luck with your treatment of your shoes, and have fun.